Yeah, go ahead, and don't do it literally, because you're in your chair, but how would you do it? That's, and think about what you're feeling with your lower half. Ready, set, you're gonna spin to the, you're gonna, if you're right-handed, you're gonna spin that way. If you're left-handed, you're gonna spin the other way. What would you do, okay? What are you feeling? Is anyone feeling that? You're using the ground, hopefully, because we're not gonna just pick up our legs and try to swing as fast. Now if I said, who can spin it twice around? Who can spin around theirs twice and literally see who can spin it the most? Does that change anything of what you're feeling with your lower half? So here's the bottom line. If I'm, as a hitter, it's the same concept, okay? Because if I'm spinning in a chair, I can literally go like this and push it, and I'm gonna go in, I may go all the way to the back side. But if I really want to get and spin this chair, you're gonna see this app, you're gonna see people really start creating ground angles and trying to drive that chair all the way around. Do you guys understand what I'm talking about? So that ground angle, what you feel, is also the ability, the same thing as a hitter, I get down, at 51, and then I'm gonna literally push back a little bit to be able to drive, just like I'm spinning around a chair, as opposed to getting down and being light and swinging with just my arms. Do you understand the difference? So your ability to get them to feel it is more important than trying to talk about lower half. Feel it. Get them on a bucket, and try to get them to spin it. They're awkwardly gonna look at you like, what are you talking about? And try to get to see who can spin it around. You're great, you have one of those doctor's chairs, okay? That to me, bottom line, is the basic version of how to be able to get them to understand their lower half 